this video is all about what makes a person sustainable. Uh, we all know that now everyone is doing their best to contribute towards the social environment and towards taking a corporate social responsibility of supporting the environment and community. So what makes it? There's no legal definition of how and how and how a perfume is sustainable because there's not just one factor. So if you talk about the whole process of the bottle, the packaging, everything, that should be a process and on selecting of how to choose a sustainable perfume because you don't look at the perfume at the last, the juice part. It's the whole product that involves in making that perfume sustainable. Everything that involves right from sourcing the ethically sourced ingredients, um, the eco-consciousness of selecting the packaging recyclable and third is the social impact. So these are the all the credentials probably that makes a perfume more sustainable. Number two, what should we look for in perfume packaging? So we all know that the glass bottle and the cardboard box, they are recyclable, biodegradable, and there are many, in fact, pretty much nowadays, everyone has started doing that, that they say that please donate your glass bottles, please use recyclable boxes. So that's been taken care of. But the plastic pump and the cellophane, which is inside, those are not recyclable. So brands like Lancome, Victor and Rolf, Kaflarbon, um, Molten Brown, what they started doing is that they started giving refillable bottles. So the cellophane in the pump is, they remove it, you refill the bottle and then reuse it again. Now the whole idea is to contribute to the environment. Hence, these practices should be made actually applicable by pretty much all. And Lancome Idol Ninja when a perfume launched in 2017, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, they started this idea of it's refillable and also replenish. Like you bring your bottle back and you get a discounted price for the next perfume. So that's another way of how and what should we look for purchasing when we are purchasing sustainable perfumes. So there are some other factors also involved when we say what should we look in packaging. So the raw paper labels, jo labels hote hain. If you see even here in Arcadia by Amna, labeling jo hai. Refillable bottles, the recyclable box jo hum discuss kar rahe and biodegradable cellophane wrapping. Wrapping ke bahar jo boxes hote hain, wo bhi ab recyclable aasik. So whenever you go and purchase a perfume, you can always ask these questions. Uh, that, you know, are these recyclable, uh, are these contributing to the environment or no? So these are basically questions that you should also ask before purchasing a perfume. Number third point is, how do brands ensure that the ingredients are sustainable? Now, it's a very important question because we can all say that, yeah, that it's written sustainably, produced sustainably, achieved sustainably, ingredients are sourced, how? So as a brand owner or for perfume or as a perfumer, there are certain aspects that we need to look into it. How they're contributing to the local community and how is it also affecting the economy. So uh, after the 2010 earthquake in Haiti, uh, Haiti is a very popular place where very, very sourced. So the perfumers, they started uh, contributing to the economy by locally sourcing very, very there and supporting the other programs like uh, providing clean drinking water to the community so they were supporting the economy by sourcing it and also giving back to the community by giving clean water as a uh, as a giving back uh, program to the community giving back to community and how are you contributing these are the questions which we ask these perfumers these brands of what are they doing their part in order to make the sourcing of these ingredients as sustainable as possible as i mentioned in the first part that it's not only about the product, the, the end result, the perfume, the oil. It's basically about the whole process of sourcing the ingredients and then fair trade, providing opportunities to the, you know, these local communities and uh, then probably, you know, making it as a whole uh, brand and as a product. So there are three uh, examples that I'll give you. Number one, Clean Reserve brand, the Clean Reserve line. They support the, as I said, the cleaning water pro facility at the high tea when they source vetiver from there. So they are contributing back by providing clean water to the national community, the local community there. Number two, this brand called Fragrance de Bois. They have partnered with sites, CITs. Uh, they take responsibility of protecting endangered animals and plants like agarwood because it's a rare uh, species of plant, you know, just uh, uh, from where we take the agarwood oil chips. So they take this. This, uh, this program owned by site, this program managed by sites, they take responsibility of taking care of that. So fragrance, they both have tied up with them in order to make sure that if it's sited through them, 
the, the, the source, that the ingredients they use are well taken care of and well protected and it's serving the environment. Number third would be Lancome ID. They have partnered with Sustainable uh, Solidarity Source. Uh, what they do is, when they use roses, the Turkish rose petals, so they use through a family-owned uh, community where they, they're hand-picked and in return, they give them a, a option and a chance to obtain fair trade agreement deals and with the other world. So they give them not only an opportunity to support them as a small group, but they also give them a chance of fair trade agreement and showcasing their hand-picked rose to the world so that other brands also are very careful and they actually choose them over the mega industries who are making millions and millions of money without supporting the uh, local community. If you ask me who's the champion in perfumery or body shop, it would be Lush brand. For me, they have always been number one right from the beginning. They were very clear on their goal, sustainable brand. They don't compromise on the quality of their products. If you see the smell and everything, they are number one and they do fair trade, legally sourced. From day one, they, were, they knew what they wanted to do and they are the champions for me. And uh, yeah, we all should play our part in sustainable uh, perfumery, not only cosmetics or makeup or anything, but even in perfumery, we should be very conscious of our selection, our choices, and should try our best to contribute as much as we can. And hence, I would like to conclude my video and say my selection of sustainable brand is Arcadia by Amna Bhaktu. Really, come here, support the brand, support community, support women who are working hard tirelessly to create something so sustainably uh, well aware for all of us. There is a common misconception that synthetic ingredients can't be sustainable. Loops, as I said, sustainable perfume is not only about the ingredients and about the juice or the final product, it's about the whole process. The process involves packaging, bottle, the plastic pump, everything, the, the, the packaging, the box. So all these factors contribute to making a sustainable perfume, not only the oil. Hope that's clear.